Hello there, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Quake Scourge of Armagon on Nightmare. This is HIP3M3 Limbo. Okay, attempt number two, because my dumbass got overzealous and missed a kill and then died to a stupid nail trap. So, yeah, let's not have that embarrassing mess happen again. I actually tried to go around the nail trap and got stuck on some geometry somewhere. I don't even know what happened. And, oh, hey, 69 armor. Nice. So anyway, yes, this is Limbo with 71 monsters and 4 secrets. So we're just going to get right into the thick of things here. We're going to go down the straight path first. Now, a slight spoiler, this path doesn't really have anything uh, to it, except for a dead-end path to an elevator. You can use the elevator to get around the level quickly, but there's going to be enemies down there, as you can see. And if you just take this, it's going to lead you directly into a slaughter, so... I mean, nothing that you can't survive, but it's not the safest route. Also not the most complete. We're going to go this way. Go down to this room, which houses the first of four secrets. Oh, I just opened it. Wow. And here come the gremlins. Yay! Everyone's favorite nasty little weapon stealers. Uh, how'd he jib? Huh, alright, whatever. Another Hell Knight over there. Go ahead and take him out. So, how to open this wall is to shoot that cross on the wall up there, and I'm guessing my rocket explosion that took out the Hell Knight was close enough to the cross that it triggered the secret. But anyway, you'll find a mule near, and small boxes of shells, nails, and cells. The trifecta. Watch, around, uh, watch out around this corner for an ogre, and then around the next corner there is going to be a Hell Knight guarding a quad damage, which I am not going to freaking die on my quad damage rampage this time. Dying on a quad damage rampage is a sin. Anyway, keep your super nail gun handy, grab the quad damage, grab the super nail gun, blast away immediately, you'll be surrounded by fiends. Go to your left, take out the Hell Knight, take out the fiend. Take out the ogres that are up here. Take out the knight right there. Further up the stairs, a hell knight, a vor, another ogre. Another ogre, another hell knight. We're gonna jump down here. Oh, and try not to thunderbolt ourselves, that would suck. Trigger this key to summon those vors, and we are done. I almost killed myself a second time. And then, yeah, kill both of those scrags to lower the silver rune key. Yeah, moments like that, the weapon auto-switching in Quake can really screw you over. I almost blew myself up completely. And just like that, we've already got over half the kills. Nice, huh? Oh, and getting the silver key will summon a Shambler. So we'll just Thunderbolt him into Oblivion. I always forget about that Shambler. Unfortunately, I don't have quite enough time left with my quad damage rampage to get the Vores and the Shambler. Because you have to kill both the Vores to relower the key platform, and then collecting the key summons a Shambler, but I I don't want to say it's impossible, because someone's going to do it if I say it, but I'll say it's close. Anyway, we're going to take a little water slide right here. There are more uh, Scrags down here. Quite a few, actually. And we have some Rot Fishies. And a Hell Knight all the way over there. With a Scrag just overhead. Go ahead and take them out. I'm going to dive down here and make some rotfish sushi. And then there's going to be even more scrags over here. Yeah, this map designer loved him some scrags. But they are easy targets, as usual. So, what I usually like to do is that ring of shadows over there, I'll grab that, and then I'll summon the fiend, or the, the boars, because they won't see you right away. But this time I had enough time with my quad damage rampage left. I was like, screw that noise. We're just going to take them out. And up around here we have a couple of ogres and another scrag. Uh, you want to die? Thank you. And here's the lower part of the elevator. The first floor of three. And then around this corner to the gold key door. Two more scrags. And just like that we're down to ten kills. And just as a reminder, this is the map with the secret exit. And speaking of secret... Secret number two. This mistextured wall underwater leads you to... Ah, my boy. A 100 health. 
And there's no real reason to grab the wetsuit or the Ring of Shadows now, but we will just because they're pickups and they are for free. Yeah, no real need to, especially with the Ring of Shadows, no real need to use it anymore. I went to, I went a different route this time, and it worked. It worked just fine. So, now that we have the silver key, and yes, it's key, not rune key, if I didn't already say that. My mistake. Go to fold me, this is a very runic-themed level. Anyway, go back to this main path, and oh yeah, look at that. We has ogres. Four of them. But they're just ogres. Their grenades will not reach us. His might, but he's not going to hit us anyway, so it doesn't matter. And, uh, let's see. I don't need those shells. I need those rockets. So yeah, get your cells ready, because inside this silver rune key door is Mr. Shambi. And we'll just... Whoa! Hello. I swipped, <laughs> swapped to the wrong weapon. That's okay. And then when you get close to the key, another fiend jump scare. And these guys actually almost killed me in my practice run, because I totally forgot they were there. That's okay, though. We'll just do the usual 1-2-3 punch on them and down them both. So in here, you have a couple of things, actually. Actually, more like three. Thing number one is the gold key. Thing number two is secret number three, which is behind this also mistextured wall for a yellow armor. And thing number three is that cross on the wall. So this cross is one of two things you have to shoot to open these bars, which lead to the secret exit, which is secret number four. So I'll consider this the start of secret number four. Um, actually, no. You know what? No, I'm not. Because before we get that, I want to get the last three kills, which are beyond the gold key door. And slight spoiler, the final three kills... I should have went the other way. Oh, well. The final three kills are two ogres and a centroid. And killing... Whew, scared me. Didn't want to die to that thing again. Um, that's the other thing you have to shoot to open those bars, by the way, to go to the secret exit. Anyway, um, killing the centroid, or maybe it's the ogres and the centroid, will lower the bars that are blocking the standard exit. But as everybody knows, standard exits are for losers. And we're not losers around here. I mean, I kind of probably am because I freaking died in this map when I really shouldn't have. I got way too overzealous. It had to happen. I had to die during at least one quad damage rampage. Oh, well. But yeah, we'll just take out Mr. Scorpion Face, lower those bars, and not take that secret exit. Because we are all about them secrets all up in here. So, actually, you know what? Let's start with the red rune. So, yeah, secret number four. We have to shoot both the red rune there. Which I can do from here. Oh, does it not go back up? Oh, okay. doesn't go back up. That's fine. I don't need you anyway. I have this elevator. Yeah, shoot the red rune. And then go back to the silver key door. Swear that nail trap always scares me. Where's the elevator? It's up there. Eh. Might take a little bit of time. Going up. And going up again. Here we are. Floor three. Top floor. Anyway, go back into the silver key door. Shoot the cross. And that opens the bars. Now, this just takes you to the pipe, which leads you back down to where you got the silver key. But, near this part, you can go underwater. Go through this pipe. And bam. Secret exit. The final secret episode, or secret map of the episode. Also the final secret map of the entire expansion. Well, I think we're well suited enough to take it on. We got enough ammo to last. So let's just get the hell up out of here. And that is Limbo. Ironically, more pandemonium occurred here than in the map called Pandemonium, including me freaking dying, which you will see here in about a minute. Oh, it was so embarrassing. I still can't believe that happened. I could have swore that ogre died. I think he just got knocked on his ass, and I thought he died. And then I got stuck on something to let those nails kill me. I am such a sh I am so ashamed. So ashamed. Anyway, the map itself, definitely harder than Pandemonium, but still nothing too difficult. Again, if you take the route that I took, um, the only difference you may want to take if you can't do your quad damage rampage quite as quickly as mine is save the vores until you get the Ring of Shadows and then spawn them in so they can't see you. And then if you do that fast enough, you can also spawn in the Shambler before he sees you. Unless enemies that spawn in... No, he won't see. He shouldn't see you. Unless he's bugged and he'll see you anyway, which I don't think is the case. 
But yeah, that's really the only difficult part, I would say. The part that I died at was a total fluke. And I know the more I say that, the more <laughs> it sounds like I'm making excuses. You know what? You can say whatever you want. It was a fluke. But yeah, it's a very fun map overall. Quick, simple, good bit of challenge, a very lovely quad damage rampage, and a secret exit to top everything off. Oof. And this final secret map is different. I'll say that much. It is quite different. One thing I will say, it has no secrets. Zero secret areas. So it is all about getting those kills and getting out of there alive. But that will be next. For now, this was Limbo, the third map of episode three. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you'll have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you all when we visit the final secret map of the expansion. Bye bye. So yeah, get your super nail gun hand or uh, ready. Grab the quad damage. Get the super nail gun. Blast away immediately. There is a fiend in front of you and a fiend behind you. Here's the elevator we saw earlier. Go this way. There's a hell knight here. A fiend over here. Ogres and knights up this way. And a rapid fire nail trap. What the hell? How'd you shoot me so much? Oh, wow. That ogre screwed everything up. How the hell did I die here? Ugh. Oh, well. Take two. Got a little overzealous, but that shan't happen again.